So apparently Wilson Lords of Mayhem is uh, online, is actually working. I was just playing it a little while ago. It connected me to the Ireland server. So I switched my servers to America. I switched to, uh, I'm on the West Coast. So I switched to the Oregon. Oh, there we go. That is, uh, that's nice. All right, let's, uh, let's go. The matchmaking part didn't work at all. At least it didn't seem to when I, uh, when I played just, just a moment earlier. I just made it to the, the first little center hub. Fought through all the basic monsters and made it to the center hub. Where, uh, I'm a new conscript. And then I exited. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. This, this could be a big hiccup. Who knows? All right, so this matchmaking, obviously there's, it's, I don't know, something, something's going on. You know a lot of people are playing right now because this is the first day that they've had any sort of online connectivity in Wilson, Lords of Mayhem. I didn't, I didn't even want to buy this game again. I just did because there doesn't really seem to be too much else on Steam that I'm interested in. There was, um, th there was this Damon something or other game. It was like a Gundam type game. I thought I was going to pick that up. They want like $71, $72 Canadian for it. Other than that, between all the shovelware and all the Asian nudity or anime nudity games and tri uh, overpriced AAA titles that aren't even available, like the new Doom that's coming out and uh, Death, whatever it is, and uh, Cyberpunk 2077, there's not a whole hell of a lot going on on Steam right now for a guy like me. So when I saw an action RPG come out, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to give that a try. And this one just sort of came out of left field, and I had no idea about it. I bought it probably uh, back in mid-January, played it for about an hour, hour and a bit maybe, and then I decided that I didn't want it, and I refunded it. So uh, fast forward to uh, now, and um, well, uh, I don't know. It, it seems it seems good I, I guess it doesn't feel like it's ready for ready for a release uh, animations on the characters are pretty janky looking the way they run is very robotic uh, can't really think of another way to describe it all right well obviously this isn't working um, switch to offload mode can I actually cancel this no I can't <sighs> all right we gotta switch this to auto so I am gonna probably crash the game here yes switch to offline mode is there any way to cancel this okay okay let's just exit exit and we'll go back in let's go to settings network and let's just fuck it let's just go back to auto apply that return to game switch to offline mode switch to online mode so i tried california and it wouldn't connect to california period um i just tried oregon and it got stuck on matchmaking so let's just let's just play chances are it's going to stick me somewhere like uh i think the very first time i played and was able to get online and and take this character up to level two was Ireland, and I had a ping of like 160 to 170. So, game could not be created. Please try again later. All right, switch to offline mode. Actually, you know what? Let's exit one more time. Let's exit. No, actually, no, no, no. Whoa, their menu system's a little bit messed up, eh? Cry engine. Come on, baby. Connecting, connecting, connecting. So we've just left it on auto. And I should see Steam authentication here somewhere, sometime soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh. <clears throat> huh. I can't even connect to auto. So never mind. Um. Yeah, it's uh the servers are probably just overwhelmed. Hopefully they're bringing up more servers. You know, I'm not super amped about this game. It's just another it, it feels like wolves and lords of mayhem feels like it's going to be an in-between game for the launch of like path of exile 2 and um torchlight 3 and diablo 4 i think that once a couple of those or even one of those games comes out unless they really pull some serious magic out of their ass this game's just gonna have like a, a niche player base there'll be a few people that stick around and play it but i, I would imagine the majority of players are either going to go back to Path of Exile once their season starts again, or there's a restart. And then if any of the new games come out, it's going to take a miracle. I don't know. I, I bought it. I've gone past my refund time now. Don't care. You know, I was happy to give them a bit of money. It's kind of cool to see uh, another AR, ARPG, and hopefully it grows into something, and it does have a healthy community. It's going to be tough, though, man. They're up against some pretty big competition, so uh, let, let's try this one more time. One more time. One more time. As you can see, we're rocking 275 frames per second. 
that's a negative. Okay, so that, that's the end of this video, and that's been my online experience playing Wilson Lords of Mayhem. Um, hope you enjoyed this video of nothing. Um, like, subscribe, and um, yeah, take it easy. Thanks for watching.